In this problem, we have an infinite series, and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. So this is an alternating series, and so we'll use the alternating series test, so solution. So when you're using the alternating series test, you start by identifying your a sub n. a sub n is always the part that is not alternating. So in this case, that would just be 8 over n. Then you just have to go through the motions of verifying the two steps. The first step is to take the limit as n goes to infinity of your a sub n. In this case, the limit is 0 because as n gets really big, 8 over n gets smaller and smaller and smaller. The second step is to observe or show that 8 over n is non-increasing. So is non-increasing. So non-increasing means decreasing or staying the same. So both conditions check, and so it converges by the alternating series test. So it converges by AST. Let me show you how to show that it's not increasing. So if you had to formally show this, and I usually don't bother to do it, what you would do is you would redefine your sequence as a function of x, and then you would differentiate it and show it's decreasing. So to do that, you can write it as 8x to the negative 1. So you take this and bring it up, and then take the derivative. So f prime of x, so you bring this down, so you get negative 8x to the negative 2. So that's the same thing as negative 8 over x squared. And that's less than 0, so f is decreasing. So f is decreasing for all real values of x, therefore it's decreasing for all integ integral values of x. So uh, you could just say it's decreasing and go from there. So uh, not really necessary um, to show this, uh, but um, it's, it's not so bad. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.